Hello everyone, Tomas Del Wapo here, interior designer on The Open House Show. I have come out here to beautiful West Tucson, Arizona, to a very special place called Calliope Co, a creative collaborative. Joining me now is Shannon De Arpino. Shannon, it is so nice to see you. Oh. It is so amazing to have a world-famous interior designer come to our creative collaborative. Oh, Shannon, you are welcome. I've been a pretty artistic kid my whole life, um, and it just was something that spoke to me as a kid, and I noticed how little people started stopped doing it when we got older. We get into our jobs, we get into our work environments, and it just kind of becomes irrelevant anymore. I really feel passionate about helping people find that art again in their life. Tomas, I hope you came to share your creative juices with us in our workshop. I cannot wait to get to work. So Calliope Co. is a creative collaborative and in this shop we house 40 vendors that are local here to Tucson. So these vendors range from completely handmade and designed by them. We have booth spaces where people rent the space and design it themselves and then the main shop is a consignment based business where everybody is mixed in to add to the beauty. Tomas, welcome to the workshop. Ah. We were going to have you paint today. Are you kidding me? I love to paint. You know, I can tell you right now, Shannon, that when I am painting, my emotions run free. And that's what we're hoping to achieve while you're here today. Today, you are gonna be working on a heart and we want you to get creative and... Shannon, I can promise you that the next time you see this heart, you will say, oh my goodness, what have you done? So we are so excited to have Tomas here today and he is a world famous designer. So my thoughts are that we will go into the workshop and we will have him paint a whimsical heart so he can show us his heart and his creative identity while he's here at Calliope Co. today. Coming up, Calliope Co. is not only an eclectic emporium, it's also a workshop with classes in a wide range of art. Stay tuned. In Calliope, I like to find people that um, aren't really, they're kind of new to pursuing their passion. And I love really mentoring people to become their own business owner. And part of that is being part of this collaborative. And part of the collaborative is that people, they, the actual vendors actually work here. And so you get to know them and the customers get to know them. I'm very passionate about people learning something here and being able to take it home and replicate it. Oh, Tomas, I'm dying to see what you've painted for us. You want to know that I made it for you, with you in mind. There it is. Oh, wow. Um, okay, I think that maybe we should try and work with something maybe more like clay. Clay, yes. I love to work with my hands. So in this um, environment, you're going to find vintage and antique products that are found at really cool shops um, or estate sales, things like that. You're also going to find refurbished furniture that people um, redesigned. We also have resell um, clothing here, which is really fun because that, that ranges from vintage to modern. We also have a kids section, which is where I started my whole um endeavor, I guess, is I make most of the kids' stuff. I'm, I'm sew as well as paint. Ah, this clay is fresh, ready for molding into something beautiful. I'm going to turn it into something special, something different that I know you love. Okay, let's uh, get that going. Coming up, remember how variety is the spice of life? Can Shannon help Tomas create something, anything, that is not just about him? Stay tuned. I was thinking he would do something a little bit more creative that we could display. So I'm thinking we might have to change avenues a little bit and have him maybe work with some clay. to see my clay? I am, I am. Ah! Oh, my goodness. Uh, is that 
Colonel Sanders? No. Look closely into the eyes. Tomas, I'm seeing some concerning behaviors and in your art. And while you weren't looking, I also painted this. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah, I think that we need to try and get refocused on what we're working on and see if we can paint something different. Tomas, we're going to get you to focus on a new artistic outlet. Um, these flowers, we're going to have you paint these and try and break you away from what your main focus has been up to this point. Of course. Okay. I love flowers. All right. They're well, so let's paint those. Fresh and beautiful. Oh, oh, no. No. Let's, let's try and, let's try and get oh, the, the flowers. Oh, no, no. We're going to, we're going to stick with the, with the yellow, very slow brush stroke, oh. and keep right in yeah. those flowers. They are very beautiful. Yes. What oh, oh, look. This is beautiful. This is good. Yes. Yes. Shannon, it's beautiful. Yes, you did a good job. I feel like something is missing now. No, 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 no. It's just a jar of flowers. <gasps> you did a great job. <laughs> I see. <laughs> When people come here, they feel absolutely accepted for who they are. Um, one of the things that I tell every vendor that comes in here is I want everybody to be able to come in here and feel safe and be able to be creative. Um, and that might not be that it was something they made while they were here. It's something they maybe even purchased that's a true showing of them that one of our makers touched in their heart while they were here. Um, I also really feel passionate about people just coming in and taking the time to look around and just really get lost in the inspiration and sometimes the whimsy that we create in here because sometimes when we go home, it's really important that we can go home and unwind and de-stress and live in an environment that feels truly true to us. And that's what I hope that we provide here at Calliope for people.